morning. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I'm Dave Landry. You're welcome. It's going, wow, P's got whack yesterday down 3% and change. As I've been saying, what I feared was if we took out these lows in here, there's no support for a long, 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 long time. Futures are strong pre market, so we could see a bounce at least in early trading, but I'm going to get too excited about that. Just, yeah, take a look at bonds. As you can see, pretty serious downtrend in tag. Did bounce a little bit. My big concern lately is that we've been in a bit of a liquidation market where bonds, gold, stocks, and Bitcoin all go down. As you can see, gold getting whacked yesterday. So that's usually not a good thing. You want to see some flight to safety somewhere. Wow, take a look at NASDAQ, down 4% and change. I'm sorry, that's a Russell, as you can see. But down here at one year plus lows, NASDAQ got whacked too, down 4%. And change, as we say, quite a bit. Uh, again, no support for a long, long ways on these indices. And what's interesting is you can go all the way back to the fall of 2020, and we haven't made any forward progress. So that's a little scary. So what do we do? Well, wait for a bounce before attempting to do any shorting. I wouldn't try to catch this falling knife though on the long side. Let's just let it shake out and see how it all unfolds. Any questions? As usual, Dave, I'm Dave Landry. You start to walk in it.